in September, Friday the 13th, 2024. And I've just arrived at my dig site. Um, I've arrived and I am at, I don't know if you can see that, 877 miles, 44 uh, for my three month total. I haven't really been out as much over the last couple of weeks, so I've been busy here. Uh, but yeah, we've arrived to see what we can see. And very apt being Friday the 13th unlucky for no one really other than the Knights Templar the reason it's considered unlucky is the day that they were put to death so hopefully with any luck well, we'll find some Knights Templar treasure or some tiles or a sword or something cool to mark the day uh, but yeah after the heavy rain yesterday it really did rain we're not looking too bad um, it's not destroyed any of the site, which has been quite lucky over the last couple of, well, over the last week, because there's been so much heavy rain, it's been awful. Uh, I say awful, it's been alright, to be honest, but, um, yeah, cool, right, okay, I will make a start, ooh, I can hear a red kite, huh. cool, I will catch you soon. Right, I've, um, I've spent about... Well, I've got to be about 40 45 minutes. Uh, I'm just getting this section out here uh, where I was working. Um, right, unfortunately, the mortar line that I had running through here, um, I've broken it off and I pulled out a big root. It was running straight through that and it just broke out. Um, I'm actually wondering if this black is possibly rotten wood um it's yeah I, i'm starting to wonder if that's what that is um i'm not 100 sure but it seems to be in straight lines um and it seems to have been around things it's uh yeah they, they look kind of structural in a way um but while I was clearing that out, uh, so I've sort of tried to clear towards the edge of this, what I'm guessing is a limestone block here. Um, you can see we've got lime up here as well. Um, and that's opposite the tile that's there. So I'm guessing that was probably a limestone floor that these tiles were maybe sitting on, or maybe that's a wall. I don't, I'm not 100% certain. Um, but while I've been doing that, I've inadvertently been digging down quite considerably. Um, so I've cross-sectioned down here quite a lot. Um, there's this massive, just a layer of what I thought was tile cement. But I, I'm not 100% certain now. Um, I think it's just lime. Um, because I, I, I've found a lot of rocks and stones now and um, I've found a few big ones in there and they're fairly big and I found a lot of like shards down here I haven't had a look at them yet so I'll wash them up in a minute and I'll do that on camera to see uh, but while I am looking down here I've got a little bug in there I don't know what he is I don't want to disturb him. He looks kind of like a woodlouse, but I've never seen a black woodlouse with orange stripes before, so I don't know. Uh, but we'll wash up the stones that we've found in there. Oh, God. Interesting bunch of them, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea what on earth that could be. Three. 
Very grossy looking, I don't like the look at that, I don't know what that is. See, once again, uh, it's that, I, I mean, I keep coming back to the fact, these, these are bones, they have bone like nodules and mob, nodules and bobdules <laughs> on them, and they have like wear lines um, I mean that could quite easily be like a fragment who knows They're just like, I don't know, it's like fragments of things. That one, the text is very, it's very different to the rest. Feels very strange to touch. You've got the, it's like the bone coloration and the, yellowy underneath again and it seems to have a lot of bone coloration the blood on them but nothing quite conclusive like I, I will say I've pulled out other things that make me think more along the lines these are just fragments of something As I say, a lot of these are pulled out from all these smaller ones are pulled out from the hole that I was digging down. The bigger ones come out from the top section. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to really delve deep in now because I really want to find some more tiles and things. Yeah, interesting. Uh, but nothing says really shouts anything to me um, so I will carry on that one that one does that one that one does say bone to me yeah that's, yeah that does yeah that one that one says a bit of bone so one maybe two I don't like the texture of that one. It's horrible. But yeah, it has really made me start looking at people's drives at the moment where they've got stones and pebbles all over them. And uh, yeah, you just, once you start viewing these things through a different lens, you start wondering it's, it's kind of a bit morbid having what appear to be bits of something covering your property <laughs> but it's, it's, in, it's in everything that we use I mean concrete is filled with stones like ballast um, we have it on pathways everywhere it's beneath us everywhere it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of morbid in a way but I suppose it's a cycle of life, isn't it? Right, anyway, I'm going to start digging in a bit. Um, I want to go that way because I know I've got tiles that way, but I'm not going to. I'm going to carry on going this way, which was what my plan was. So I will carry on with that because I, I really want to start coming back because I think the further back I get, the better my finds are going to be because it's a lot deeper um so yeah but um, yes yeah, it's, it's interesting i enjoy this so. cool no. right um i've dug a little bit more not much it's only been 10 minutes uh, but i found a bit of tire here um i'm happy about i haven't seen any for couple of days now so oh. um 
but yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think it's only a shard, but it is a bit tight all, and uh, as you can see, it's above the, the what I suspect is a tile muck. Uh, so I would say that is definitely a tile adhesive there. Um, makes sense. I've got something else out there. Uh, that's a stone, no. though. Found one. <laughs> no, oh, oh. Yeah. As I say, I think it's just a shard. It's nothing major. But you see the the burgundy colour there. I suspect that is some sort of iron. Oh, so many gnats and mozzies down here today. Yeah, so it's just a shard, but there's another piece of tile, so that's cool. Shot of tile, so so I'm definitely like I'm, I'm still like I'm in the ballpark, and I've still got a theory for them in. But yeah, I suspect this was probably some sort of building. Right, okay, that's out, so I shall quick hang on off because I felt I'm sure I felt something back here. There. Bony blood texture again. Oh, I don't know what it's, it's, this place is. It's interesting. Hmm, mysteries. Cool. Right, I started, started digging through the last lump there. Um, sorry, it's what. I'm probably being really shit with the camera here, I'm sorry. But, um, right, so I'm digging through where I've been digging through. I'm just halfway through. I uh, just accidentally destroyed my mortar line, pulling out another route. Um, so there's my tile mark, which is what I just pulled that piece of tile from. Uh, there's the block. There's the tile. So I'm beneath that level... Well, no, I'm not beneath it, I'm above it. <laughs> but I'm in this sand level here, and I've just pulled this out of there. Um, it's, it's another big fragment. I keep, I've pulled, what, four big fragments out of this area now. Uh, there was nothing at the front, nothing here. But as I've got further back, I've pulled big fragments out, and it's been in this brown stuff. Um, which looks like, I don't know, just soil to me, I guess. But it's, that, it's got that same bone coloration to it and I don't know if you can see it looks like there's like blood vessels or something over the surface of it. Um, like I say, it's just, you know, I'm pretty certain that's what these are. They're mud fossil bones. But they're, they're, they're just fragments, they're just pieces. It's, uh, yeah interesting 
Uh, yeah, I, I will carry on. <laughs>